Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Cover with me, Aradhi and Rishi, and uh, yeah, it's another podcast around the T20 World Cup. Who, according to you guys, are the top three bowlers at the moment? T20 bowlers at the World Cup. Very hard to decide. I think um, there, of course, will be some easy shouts in this one, but it's going to be interesting to see who you guys throw in and what we. I mean, how we sort of come to a conclusion in the end. But right off the bat, I'm just going to say. I think one guy we know for sure. I don't. I hope. I hope there's no argument on just being a part of this list. There's no way any bowler. I don't see anyone getting ahead of him. Is just just to give me an easy shout for both of you. Are you nodding your head? Currently in this World Cup. No, no. I'm saying the best T20 bowlers at the World Cup. That's all. And he's yeah, been brilliant this World Cup. Sorry. And he's done well this World Cup, anyways. He's been decent this World Cup, right? Decent. I mean. Compared to what Babar and Rizwan end up against Pakistan, the two most important batters. Rizwan. He bowled three no. for seven in the previous game. Three, three for seven. Seven runs in four overs. Three wickets in a super eight game. Against Afghanistan, who we know. Oh, brother, who else you played every game he's played? He's picked up wickets and he's not. Cut. He's not. He's not even in the top five wicket taking. Uh, bowlers right on the T20 World Cup. Are they three yeah, for seven? Yeah, obviously these guys are playing Sri Lanka, some Papua New Guinea. Rishi, Ashdeep Singh is Ashdeep Singh is second right now, by the way. Dude, that's he bowls with the ball. Bumrah doesn't right bowl now. with the ball. Bumrah doesn't. Bumrah didn't get to bowl with the ball any of the first few games. He literally bowled the second over some two games ago. Only this Afghanistan game because they're playing with two fast bowlers. Even against Pakistan, fast Pakistan he bowled. He did not. No. Even against he did Pakistan, not bowl. he bowled. The, the third over, he got the third yeah, over. He's never bowled the top. That's the yeah. Okay, but before but that, he didn't. Yeah, in against the worst teams, he didn't bowl any of the first four overs. But we're talking about yeah, wickets. yeah, and bro. That's what I'm saying. What he's not, still getting you wickets. He although he's not bowling with the new ball. What do you mean? Zampa is second right now. He doesn't even ball with the new ball. We can tell that, right? He's a spinner, Adi. I'm talking about fast bowlers. Where are you comparing? Spinner. He's played most. He's played all his games in turning tracks. Who? Zampa? Not yeah, Zampa. Zampa. He's played in the West Zampa's East. two games you watch his wicket is all flight and deliveries. It was not even like. Okay, Adi, you're, you're just saying Zampa Bumrah hasn't done well this World Cup. Now the top three bowlers right now in the World Cup. I'm saying. We're not taking only the World Cup into context. We're talking about the bowler in T20 format and his obviously recent form, which has been undeniable. So the issue with me and Bumrah is, I feel like the mm. batsman's mindset is always like, let's defend him. But he's why? No, no, no. You tell me why? Why? Why, why is that? Why is that? <laughs> what, brother? In Christ, what are you saying? Bro, why, the problem is. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. The problem is during these games when they play against Bumrah, it's always the mindset. Of, okay, let's. Defend, defend, defend. So he's never going to get the main wickets, especially in the IPL. And then when he gets wickets, it's always a tail enders, in my opinion, and what I've seen. And then you see him start planning a lot of wickets. Then you see him in purple cap suddenly out of nowhere. And then you see he doesn't even win the purple cap. To be fair, all the balls he balls is actually pretty smackable. But bro, I don't know why all these batsmen just weirdly are like, okay, let's. Start. <laughs> okay, wait. I, I wonder. I wonder why these batsmen these. It's crop of best batsmen all across the globe. Not, not crop of best batsmen. Collectively what? decide to be like, yeah, let's just defend him. I wonder why <laughs> they do that. If he's, if it's no. all smackable balls, they should just go after him. No. Bro, the problem is it is smackable, but the problem is these guys are in some weird mindset. I don't know why. That's my question. I think this is the question we have to actually understand why these guys actually defend when you can actually hit a lot of. Defense. Are they the first? So. First game against Ireland, Bumrah bowled two two wickets, six runs in three overs. Against Ireland, okay. exactly. yeah, yeah. So I'm giving you the games that he's played against Pakistan. He got Babar and Rizwan. Bowled the basically the toughest over in the game. Huh? Babar Azam getting his wicket is not some great thing in cricket right now. So you can't sit and tell me that some. No, who are the top two batters in the Pakistani yeah. team? Rizwan, it was a. Rizwan had played for the odd ball in that game. Like Babar Azam getting his wicket is not a great thing. I'm sorry. Adi three wickets, 14 runs, four overs against Pakistan. Got Babar, got um, yeah, he got uh, Rizwan, But and he got Iftikhar. He also got Iftikhar. So I know, I know, yeah. I know. I'm in, not leading up to this. Agreeing in terms of leading up to this T20 World Cup, 
in the IPL, in that circus of Mumbai Indians bowling lineup, he arguably had one of the best economy rates ever in an IPL. That's in, what I'm saying. In an no. IPL, keep in mind, in an IPL where it's been a road show, everyone's going for like it's all 250, 260, 270 scores, no, and he's no. the one keeping it say seven and over. Or even, in fact, even a lot of times, even less than six and over. Like, as a pace bowler, that I don't know what more you can ask. see. Okay, Adi, tell me, who are the top three bowlers if if it comes down to defending seven runs in the last over? Who are you giving it to? Mm-hmm. I know I'm going to close my eyes and give it to Bumrah. And you I know that close my eyes and give it to like Bumrah. Eight okay. out of ten times, he'll defend it also. Yeah. Uh, bro, I don't know. I still feel like. I've seen him get smacked in the last over and, you know, especially in the IPL and he's not, like, defended. Who are you giving it to? Answer the question. What 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 kind of ball do you tell? No, you tell me, has he ever defended seven runs in the last over and actually won a game? Okay, Adi, who do you give the ball to? Has has Bumra ever been a game winner? You tell me. For me, it's more like, has Bumra ever been a game winner? In the World Cup, in the the IC, in what? The last over seven runs, if you had to give it to some bowler in the world. For India or like in general? Any general. bowler in the world. Any oh, bowler in the world. Three, three bowlers who you're going to give it to. I feel like any bowler in the world can't defend seven runs right now in cricket. In my opinion, right now, seven runs, I still think batsmen okay, are happy. Runs. Runs. Okay, nine, ten runs last over, who will you give it to? And assuming, assuming these are the best batsmen in the world who are at crease. It's not some random yeah. middle order or some... Guy, like P, like assume it's ba- like cream of batsmen who are at the crease right now. That's my point. I feel like if cream of batsmen is still there, I feel like batsmen are going to win it. Like ten of six in T Twenty, I I can tell you ninety nine point nine percent batsmen will win it, and that's my point. Like, Agreed. Are, are, I'm not, like, see, see, that's that's a fair shout that it is a batsman's game. They are gonna try and score, but you still but have to. You? you have to. You have to try. You, Adi, you are the captain. Okay, you are the like, captain. Yeah. Oh, this is the scenario you can't escape. You can't chase. You can't chase yeah. the narrative. Fair enough. Let's put into context then. Like for example, see, it's very easy to say who will give the last bowler to. Like obviously, you would say the best bowlers in the world. Maybe Trent Bolt, Bumrah, whatever it is. But not you necessarily. Put... I wouldn't give it to say Trent Bolt. Even, Bo- if I, if, even in in that yeah. Rajasthan lineup, I would rather give it to someone like Sandeep Sharma over Trent Bolt. Yeah, yeah. I would give it to Bumrah. I closed sure. right now. Like. Please, you like Bolt, you choose Sandeep Sharma over Trent Bolt when it matters. In in the death, in the death, yeah. How so, are you Trent Bolt, telling Trent? Trent how Bolt's are you? Is no, bro, this is, okay, okay. No, this bro, is wait, wait one second. We're going off track. One second. And one more thing, I just want to add. Bumrah has eight wickets in four games. Zampa, who is the leading wicket taker, is eleven in five games. Let Bumrah play one more game, then we'll talk. Okay. And. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Zampa's economy is uh, 10.72. See, that's my point. It's not 10.72, it's 5.9. No, I'm just kidding. It's 5.9. It's 5.9. Yeah. Bumbra is 3.46. 3.46. Bro, he's playing in joke. test weekend. He's playing in test it's weekend condition. Joke. About three what, Others are playing in others are playing in um uh, Bankade or what? Everyone are playing in no. uh testing to play in tougher uh, pitches than Indian bowlers. Indian, why do you think Ashdeep is in top three wicket takers right now? They're playing in some beautiful test conditions over there, obviously. They play literally in New York the entire time. Do you think there was some nice batting pitch where batsmen could score runs? Bro, yeah, so the really. thing is, bro, for me, yeah. it's always about game winners. And I always felt like Boomer is a very solid bowler. You know, those kind of cricket footballers, cricketers, where you know you're going to get seven out of 10, eight out of 10 performance, no matter what. And that's what Bumrah is. But for me, it's never been like he's a match winner or a game winner. In T20s. So I'm in, in, in T20 okay, sometimes. Okay. I'm not telling in terms of test. I feel like in test, he, he's the best bowler in the world. Okay, who is the best bowler in India, Pakistan, India, Pakistan? Who was India's match winner in that game, according to you? Adik, in my opinion, it was Adik Pandya. And I truly believe that. No because way. he There's actually no got way. two crucial wickets when we needed him. Two crucial, one, one wicket he got, which was Fakhar Zaman's crucial wicket. That's it. That, that was that mattered, and that's my point. Adi, Even he this, got this. slapped. He got slapped for six or seven runs and over. No, he didn't. He didn't get he did. slapped. For six he did. I'll give you his figures. I'll give but you his figures. That's my, that's my point. Like with Bumrah, it's always I know he's going to not give runs, but my point is I rather have crucial. And he got good. you Babar Azam, Iftikhar Ahmed, and. No. Please Rizwan. stop talking about barbarism now. In T20, I don't want to listen to names like barbarism. Bro, I'm giving you. Okay, he got Rizwan and he got Iftikhar. Like what? 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 
is that what more Good. can you do? My point is again, we are talking about one game where again it's Pakistan, bro. We 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 can tell some literally US. You saw US ballers out there played against Pakistan. I can't take it seriously when you say they're getting like. So, so you can only like, he can only bowl against teams that's put in front of him. He yeah, can't just challenge and like no, I'm not going to bowl against US. I'm not going to bowl against Ireland. I'm going to bowl only against Australia. He has to bowl who's put in front of him now. Adi, in the that's same game, point. in the same game, Ashdeep got sent for thirty-one runs. Same. I'm not telling you. Conceded twenty-four. I'm not even. No, my point is that is fine. Like leave Ashdeep Singh and all the. I'm not going to sit and tell you some top ten bowler in the world. Okay. But okay. I probably... Let's give me, give me a name. Top three bowlers. If I have to add include spinners also, I'd put ten bowl. Uh, Rashid Khan actually, and unfortunately, I put Andre Russell at the moment. Okay, let's actually, just say. Okay, bro, let's let's please lock in. Trent Bolt is fine. I'm I'm sure. I'm kidding. I'm not going to put a, a Russell, but bro, that's yeah. the thing. I feel like there are a lot of T20 bowlers who can again be match winners. Maybe right now, in the T20 World Cup, again you have players like Sunil Nair and missing. But I, I don't know, bro. Like, actually, to be fair, if I think about T20, I feel like, do do you guys actually believe like if you're in a T20 game when your back is against the wall? In terms of like last two overs, you need to defend runs. Bumrah can do it because we've seen yes. in the past he's not done it in the past. Yeah, he he has. I don't know when he's yeah. not done it. Yeah, I it's, remember it's him getting tagged by ABD like literally some two years ago. Bro, that's some four or five yeah. years ago. Right? Yeah. It was it was, a, it was a, not four a, five. It was literally two yeah. years ago. ABD is arguably one of the best finishers the best that batters, the yeah. game has ever seen. Bro, so I it's not know, it's not what... in any way a criticism. For Bumrah saying that he got no, smacked by ABD. No, that's fair. But I still okay. feel like overall, even in World Cups, in ICC, even if you want to take about Test Championships, it's always been like he's consistently economically good, but he doesn't get crucial wickets. That's 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 just my point. I don't know which bro. Again, I, I now I don't remember the IPL for you to to pull out exactly which wickets he got. But anyways, let's just discuss. Ten bolt is in. Is, it's a locking. Like I think the best new ball bowler ever. in t20 cricket um fantastic of course retired from t20 cricket we wish him well uh rishi easy for you to say trend bold in this as well i mean yeah yeah it, it makes sense that trend bold not just you know from a t20 perspective even in all formats i feel that's the biggest compliment you can give a cricketer not just yeah. accomplishing in one particular format being really good in all the three formats is, that's 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 the hallmark of a great cricketer and i don't think it's easy to look past some yeah, like that two, 228 games 266 wickets of course more than a wicket a game economy is of course slightly higher because he does bowl a lot of the overs in the power play he goes for over eight but yeah fantastic bowler i think probably one of the best to bowl with a new ball and he, he recently in an interview spoke about his process and things is actually beautiful for people who want to go check it out um yeah do it what a bowler and uh, I, I'm I'm just going to leave Bumrah aside for now. Let's let's get to the third bowler because Adi, I don't know how, but Bumrah again. I'm just going to give you his numbers. Okay, 229 matches, 288 wickets, which is more than Bolt. He bowls at an economy of 6.9, which is less than Bolt. So I'm just giving you in comparison to what Bolt does. But anyways, let's go to the third one. Uh, Rashid Khan is 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 the third. Probably you would probably go swing towards that side in terms of although he hasn't been so great in the last year or so, uh, but in terms of longevity, I think he's he's been one of the top bowlers. Is there anybody else that you guys are considering at this T20 World Cup a bowler who is better than Sunil? Uh, sorry, uh, Rashid Khan. Um, no, I don't. I don't think it's you know easy to put anyone else's name who's you know gives a strong as strong a contest as Rashid Khan. Like yeah, it, it's true that he hasn't been that great. This of at least the last one twelve months or eighteen months, but come on, you have to look at like how far he's come, and he's been the T Twenty number one bowler for a long time. At twenty four, he's the national team captain, and he's arguably the best, the most in demand spin bowler in the world, at least right now in T Twenty. So yeah, fair enough. And yeah, uh, numbers for Rashid Khan: four thirty T twenties, five eighty three wickets, economy of six point four eight. Ridiculous for a spinner. I think that is for a spinner. I swear. Um, yeah. For a wrist spinner, that too. For a wrist spinner, exactly on top of that. Adi, anybody else? Or 
to compete with Rashid. See, I don't think you guys will like this, but again, if we talk about over time, right? At least for me, I've always felt like Hazelwood, especially the way he's come up and taken T20, I've always felt like he's the one of those only consistent ballers who I would, you know, especially Pacers, who would put them, put him in terms of, you know, at least personally in terms of... You know, the, the, the deal with me for Hazelwood is he, unfortunately, like, as much as I like him as a bowler, I actually do love Hazelwood. I think he's a quality T20 bowler as well. Just never got used enough for Australia. Like, I think that's no, the but biggest issue. You remember in the World Cup final when they beat New Zealand, he was literally the main reason why they even won that World Cup, especially in the finals. And, like, I always feel like he's always had that clutch gene anywhere. Like, that's why I talk about match winners. And that's why Hazelwood, at least when it comes to crucial games, especially for Australia, has always been very good. We talk about, again, if you take it deviating off topic, like the way he balled in the World Cup final last year against India, he was it was just too good balling. And that every time I see Hazelwood in, in a crucial match, he's, he's in the next level. I don't know how it is. I've seen him being very casual, get smacked a lot of time. But when it actually matters, he, he's a guy who's always performing. And I, at least from what I've seen. Against India in the T20 uh, Test World Cup also, he was the one who bowled beautifully in the finals. Again, last year in the World Cup, he bowled beautifully. I saw him in the 2021 World Cup where he, Australia won. He, he was very crucial in that. And even for RCB, the two years where we went, you know, he was very important in terms of as a bowler. And like, the literally the year where, like, you know, we didn't have him, we couldn't make it to the playoffs. So, like, I've always felt like Hazel was very underrated and is very good. At least for me. Yeah, he's, I, I agree. I think he is an underrated bowler. But I don't think he's needs into the top three just because he hasn't played enough for Australia in T20s at least. Is he, is he really underrated? Like, see, he's, he he's in, he doesn't in play much in match. Match. Exactly. He doesn't play as much. Yeah, exactly. Because, that's, but that's over the past not... three years, he's become a prominent T20 player. Like, three, four years, you take it. He's played a lot of T20s. He played the tw- last two World T20 World Cups. He's played for RCB over the past two years also. And he's been that, very consistent. In that, he, he he left halfway through. A, he left halfway through in the World Cup. I mean, sorry, in IPL. And before that, for a consistent period, he would show up at T20 World Cups. And then, you know, if if it was part of a larger, say, test series or like an ODI series, they'd keep him for the ODI games or the test games and they'd rotate him for the... They'd play someone like an Ellis... Yeah, Someone exactly. Like that. I, I, I've seen that happen a lot with Hazelwood. Exactly. Like, he's, he's, he's a problem, but he's even it's not fair. It's not fair to him that it's like, you know, we, him, can't, yeah. we can't count him. But I just feel a lot more players have played more cricket and have done... See, if he plays more often, I'm pretty sure he'll be he'll be in one of the... I mean, he'll be in content... Like, he'll be in contention for the spot. Is it? Unfortunately for him, I feel he hasn't... He simply hasn't like gotten the chance or hasn't been used enough in T20s because of course Australia has their workload management they prefer or they prioritize their tests and ODIs compared to these like not bilateral just these random tours T20 tours that they go elsewhere and I completely get it but it's just that this is one of the byproducts like it's inevitable that when you prefer one format or two formats over the other one or one or two players have to be sacrificed it's just Unfortunately for him, this is the format that he hasn't been... Oh, exactly. I think that's the story. No, but he's been playing a lot over the past four years. That's what I'm trying to say. And even you take back... If you talk about stats also, you look at his stats, it's always been very good. Like, in terms of 10 bold, he's played 50 T20 internationals. That's actually not less compared to... If you want to take Bumrah, he's played... Bumrah's played 64 T20s, while Hazelwood yeah, yeah. played... 50 T20 50 T20 yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I think, Adi, they play a lot more T20 cricket around the world. That's, yeah. that's another but factor. He, bro, that's what I'm saying. Hazel, bro, that's the point. Like, with Hazelwood, he was never a T20 bowler. But the way he's reformed and he also been... Include, he's come into the T20 setup. He's been very important for Australia, in my opinion, at least. I still think, if you're talking about T20, he's the best bowler. In, actually, in my opinion, like... Stark obviously is that left left seamer, you know, can swing it both mm-hmm. ways. But if I talk take Stark out of certain conditions, he's not the greatest bowler. Even with Cummins, I feel like Cummins is a very we know he's a good bowler, but I still feel like Hazelwood is the match winner, and he's been the match winner for Australia. And I think to be fair, if you want to talk to me about this thing, I would rather have Ten Bolt. I mean, I would rather have Bumrah or Hazelwood defending my last over, last two overs, then I would have Tenbolt defending my last two overs. So 100%. Yeah, yeah definitely. Tenbolt is um, not a specialist. 
Yeah. yeah, but like for example, you look at him for New Zealand, he will have to play as a dead ball specialist because like again, he he finishes two three overs in the beginning, he always leaves one two overs for the end. It's always like that with Trent Bolt. No matter what he, even if he think like okay, we don't you know see him as you know his 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 special his speciality is like in the power play, but he still balls like. For example, even in the World Cup, like the 50 over World Cup, he's the one who balled the last over. He's the one who balled the super over. Like he's always going to be balling the crucial overs. But my point is like, bro, I just, I, I think like one thing for sure is like Hazelwood, his career has always been like, maybe he's not that flashy. Maybe it's like the role he plays for Australia. People never confident him, but I would, me personally, I would always have like Hazelwood over. Like, I mean, it's unfair because I feel like 10 bolts, we can't take out power play in, in T20 because the way ten ball balls that you know, it's it's very crucial because even getting wickets in the power play is also important. But I don't know, bro. For me, it's always like I always like match winners, and that's why that's why I always like look at Hazelwood and I'm like he's he's very underrated. See, we're not we're not denying his quality. If 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 I had to pick my top three bowlers right now, regardless of you know formats, for me, Josh Hazelwood will probably be one or two. Maybe boom, it it will be between Bumrah and Hazelwood for me in across all formats. Hazelwood's one of my all-time favorite bowlers. His accuracy, line and length is laser precise. But is just that, yeah. like like I said, it's just I've seen someone you see like a Rashid Khan. He goes and plays every league in the world. He's he plays well. He plays. He gets ample amount of wickets. He has the numbers backing him. It's just that it's hard to look past that. I have I have absolutely no doubt that if Hazelwood plays the same number of games that Rashid Khan plays, he might have similar numbers. He might or he might he might even get more wickets. It's just unfortunately for us that will always be a what if he did that? Like exactly. we don't have that concrete backing. That's again I feel very sad saying this because he's one of my favorite bowlers. It's just I feel it's since there are players who you know played more cricket, it's only fair. That you you know look at them more. Let's let's, let's quickly wrap it up. So uh, we we have agreed on Redbone and Rashid Khan and Adi. I, I, I hesitantly has to agree on Bumrah, but yeah, I think that's where we stand after this. this bro, thing. shout out to my Saurabh Netra Walkar, bro, please. Brother, this guy. What a left arm genius. What a left arm engineering. engineering genius, bro. My guy. Rishi, when will we see you, Dad? Do something like that. Ah, uh, I'm going, bro. I'm I'm going to find a new country and go and represent them. Bro, when, bro? Like. On the side, work 20, with some laptop. 20, 2030, 2030, here I come. Yeah, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, uh, it, 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 it's been fun. That's that's the list that we've got. Bumra, Rashid Khan and uh, Ten Bolt for now. Uh, but yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Let us know your top three um, T20 bowlers at the current World Cup. Do let us know if you disagree with any of our picks. Do you think Josh Hazelwood also sort of deserves to be in there because what a bowler he is as well. Um, again, thanks everyone for watching. Share, like and share these videos. Subscribe to Post See you soon.